Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, guys, to another episode. Today, I want to answer a, a simple question, but a lot of people I know may be struggling with, especially if you've been fired or you on the verge of being fired. And the question is, what do you do after being fired from your job okay i'm going to give you about 12 actions you can do after being fired and let's start let's go into it let me let me just get into it okay step number one stay calm stay calm it's not the end of the world actually it might be the opposite it may be just a new beginning for you so don't 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 be angry don't don't ask don't wonder why you or what maybe it was just time maybe god or whoever you worship uh, has something better for you so just just embrace it it's not the end of the world it's just a new beginning for you do not get angry do not break furniture at your workplace when they tell you fire don't break computers don't break chairs don't just just be calm just say okay fine i understand and just yeah that's step number one Step number two, try to understand the reason, right? Try to understand the reason why you are being fired so that it doesn't occur again. Just ask why, you know, if that's if you don't know, you know, just try to find out the reason behind you being fired so that it doesn't happen again, you know. Uh, number three, ask for feedback from from your employer from your manager from your supervisor from your boss ask for feedback uh, about uh, your performance you know and ask them where can you improve uh, what skills are you lacking and ask if is that why you were fired is it because you're lacking those skills so that you can better yourself, upgrade, you know, be better. Ask for feedback from your work colleagues. What type? Ask them what type of a person are you? Are you a pleasant person to work with? Are there any difficulties uh, they they have experienced in working with you? Where can you improve? You know, stuff like that. And uh, step number five. Of course, if you were working for a good company, you would have a, a retirement fund, which would, they will have to release to you. Uh, and another thing you can do, you can also apply for, for unemployment uh, benefits from the government. Here in South Africa, we call it the UIF. You can apply for UIF so that while you are looking for another job that if you want to get employed again you you still have some funds you know you don't run out of cash that's if you didn't save you were not saving uh, besides your provident fund yeah so another thing uh, step number six update your cv you are you are a free agent now, so update your, your WordPress CV, update your profile on LinkedIn so that employers can know you, you, you are a free agent, you are looking for employment and they can contact you, you know, and just find out if you're still available. Uh, step number seven, let's go to step number seven. I'm sure over the years you've accumulated a lot of network, you know, you know a lot of people in the industry that you are in. 
or maybe not even in the industry that you've been clients you've assisted just go through your network and just communicate with them tell them you are now a free agent you are available you're looking for work if they have anything they should let you know yeah utilize your network you know your network is your net worth that's what they say and then step number eight you can start applying for a new job if you hadn't started already start applying for a new job try to get a new job or start a side hustle although i wouldn't advise starting a side hustle because you're going to be too much under pressure if you are fired and then you start a side hustle it's going to be too much pressure you might blow through whatever money you've saved or whatever money you have because you you'd be under pressure to make this thing work in a certain period of time because you have no income and you like i want to show them i don't need them anymore you're going to make a lot of mistakes and usually when you work under pressure you make a lot of mistakes so i wouldn't advise starting a side hustle unless you you had a side hustle while you were working then that would be another thing you could consider going full time on your side hustle because you know that say that goes uh, you can't serve two masters maybe that's why you got fired just like me because i couldn't serve two masters i had a side hustle and i had an employer eventually one had to go the other master was getting jealous because you're not giving me enough of your time so yeah so unless you had a side hustle you can entirely shift your focus to to your side hustle and just try to give it maybe a uh, six months or 12 months and see if it works out and if it doesn't you can always start looking for a job so yeah so if you don't want to start a side hustle or you don't you had no plans and you you are not getting any jobs you can consider freelancing or doing contract jobs or peace jobs uh, in your industry you know just to get some income so that you don't go hungry yeah and another thing uh, point number 10 uh, advice number 10 take care of yourself you know I understand when you had plans you know that you in your career you are you want to achieve this or in that specific company you want to achieve those goals you want to be a supervisor a manager a partner or whatever and then all of a sudden you 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 are fired it can be very emotionally draining emotionally damaging you you might even feel depressed so just try to take care of yourself you know just walk go out walk do short walks maybe a kilometer walk or jog or, or just do gym or whatever you know just to to keep active you know take care of yourself and advice number 11 uh, try to get some legal advice you know if you can afford it or if maybe you can't try to 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 find out how can you get free legal advice you know uh, get someone to look at your contract you know your employment contract and just see if they followed the procedure and if they didn't break any rules in your contract <clears throat> what do you know maybe if you your a lawyer look at your contract and you just tell them your story they'll be like uh, i think they broke some of the rules you're entitled maybe to some amount that they need to pay you if they fire you within a specific time or without no reason or whatever just yeah just get someone a lawyer a legal person to look at your contract your employment contract maybe they can find a loophole and the company and force the company to take you back if not maybe get you a, a lump sum payment you know what do you know 
and then the last uh, advice I can give you after you getting fired is just reflect, reflect. That is advice number 12, if I'm not mistaken. Just reflect on the whole experience. You know, just see what you could have done different or what you could have prevented from happening, you know just reflect on the whole experience you know so that it doesn't happen again so yeah those are the things i think everyone or most of you should do if you get fired un unexpectedly you know yeah and unlike me me i knew it was coming you know so i prepared i knew it was coming i knew I wouldn't survive if you if you follow my story you 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 would have seen some of my videos actually my first video this year was about not my first maybe my second or that that video was about why I got fired you can check that video out so I knew it was coming so I prepared so but if you are un if you are not prepared for it and it just catches you off guard i think those are the best steps to follow you know anyway i'm digressing as always thank you for tuning in guys that's the video if you enjoy these videos please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe turn on the notification so that you don't miss out any new videos i try to post twice a week uh, it's usually Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. Anyway, peace. I'm out.